I mean, we, we really wanted to get oyster catches in for three reasons. Um, I think the first one was that it was clear to me that we were very much running to standstill um, with a smaller group of people in the marketing team trying to do ever more amounts of difficult, often technical types of marketing in the direct response space and with a burgeoning ambition in brand and engagement marketing. Um, it was clear to me that we didn't have the right process in place with our agencies to deliver the new volume of work. Um, and I think I was hearing more from the agencies that they were unclear around our expectations, around roles and responsibilities. And I think in a world where, as a marketing director, you can see some of the improvements that you need to make, but you're probably too close to the problem to make significant changes or the right changes, it was clear to me that I needed an objective uh, sort of consultancy to come in and add their expertise to the problem. What amazed me most around the process that we went through with Oyster Catchers was just how simple it was. Um, I've been through a number of different agency review processes over the years, and it was by far the easiest one that I've ever done. Um, it felt very much like speaking to the, the team at Oyster Catchers, um, getting them engaged with the problem, almost released me from the problem itself. Um, and in addition to that, I think the solution that we came to was entirely bespoke um, and felt like something tailored to our organization, which is to some degree different from other marketing organizations. So we did need to, we couldn't take something off the shelf. Um, and I think the final point I would say, one of the most impressive things was the level of expertise and experience that the team had in the agency world, the industry. Um, so often agency review processes are academic exercises and, uh, and this process didn't feel that way. It felt like we were listening to people who understood who the players were, how, the mo how they were motivated, um, they understood our business and, and in that respect the solution we got was much more appropriate for the problem that we were facing. I think the most unexpected thing um, beyond I suppose my already high expectations of what Oyster Catches were going to deliver um, was the quality of the report itself. Um, the meeting I had, the initial meeting to go through the report, I was speechless to say the least around the depth and of the insight that we were able to get from the process and uh, as I said once you've done a number of these processes that are more academic or more numerically driven, um, to see an extremely thick document with so much richness in it that we could then go on an action was, uh, was extremely pleasing to me. I was very, very happy that we'd invested the money and, and uh, felt that we got more than just you know, a set of scores. I'm lucky enough to know that my, uh, my new boss at More Than um, has worked with Oyster Catchers and, and is also a contributor to this video and therefore I would hope that uh, he and I can work together with, with the guys at Oyster Catchers in the years to come to continually improve the way that, that RSA and, and more than works with its agency partners. Um, I do believe there is value in independent objective advice in this space. Um, agencies and clients are so often entangled in the emotional the emotionality of the relationships they have and having someone come in and be a third party and a pair of fresh eyes on the problem is incredibly valuable and can yield much better insights than if you try and go it alone.